Hello, print susses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have a special news bulletin for you. Breaking news. I usually post, depending upon when you're watching this, I usually post, oh, about every other day and on the weekends, early in the morning. But we have a special breaking news bulletin today here at Not Fit for Print Beauty. So a special little video. I just received the Natasha Denona Hygiene Skincare Infused Glow Beautifier, and I thought that we would check it out together. I am wearing it right now, but we've got a wear test underway with some results coming up and a full face of Natasha Denona makeup. We are about to go to the demo, but the Hygiene Skincare Infused Glow Beautifier is a new skincare complexion hybrid just released from Natasha Denona Beauty. I do have it linked below in two places, and this is kind of important, so listen up. I link it below along with all the other Natasha Denona makeup we are using today, including the High Gen Primer and the Hyper Natural Face Palette concealer and the lip products that we are using, along with information about how to join our $4.99 a month membership privileges for you, and super thanks and all of that good stuff. But I also have down there how you can purchase this at Ulta, but if you purchase on the brand website and use the code Rebecca Kringen, I'll put that right there below, but also down below where you can copy and paste it and spell it right, you will get 15% off, which is a pretty good deal on the Natasha Denona site if you use my code, and that's all linked and info below. If you're in a hurry today and want to just get to the demo and skip this over, please make use of the timestamps that I provide down below this video in the description bar, and you can scroll along the video and find what you need. There are timestamps for those of you in a hurry. All right, let's get into this. As I said, the Hygen Skin Care Infused Glow Beautifier is a brand new product from Natasha Denona in a pan here that along with her Hygen Primer forms a kind of complexion-y um, skincare hybrid Hygen product. This new one is $48 and comes in four shades. I have purchased the shade Light and that looks like it might be sold out on Ulta of course, because that is the shade Natasha Denona says that she uses, and she and I look to have a similar skin tone. Uh, let me show you it here and talk about how to use it, and then we're going to jump right in to the demo and continue on with the wear test. This is a sort of, the scent to it smells a little bit like a cream. It's not really floral. There may or may not be fragrance in the actual ingredients. I'm not looking at that, but it does smell a little bit kind of like um like a face cream would smell, so tiny bit of scent, but nothing obnoxious, but you know your levels that you can tolerate. Um, it is slightly creamy, but on the skin, it completely dries down, stays nice and shiny, but doesn't have any sort of stickiness, gumminess, tackiness, your hair won't get stuck in it. It doesn't stay feeling like a liquid or a cream. It's kind of... Um, but it is slightly creamy. You can wear this, of course, as a targeted highlighter, meaning taking the fingers and just putting it on the high points. But I thought today, and as you can probably tell from my shine, that we would wear it the way I've been seeing in a lot of demo videos that Natasha Denona does herself. We are gonna wear it all over the faces and all over glow, and we are gonna use it in conjunction, after all, why not, with the Hygen Primer, which is her liquid drops that I have done a review on, and I will put that review right here for you to check out if you wanna see that review. We're not getting into it too much today since we looked at it when it was first released. Natasha Denona says to put on a concealer, um, and we did use her color corrector concealer, and then use this as your complexion product, skincare, which we did today and you'll see in the demo. Um, you can put this on first and put this over. We're gonna put some drops right into it and do it with a kabuki style brush. So we're gonna go for it today. Let me show you a little bit how this looks, okay? If I were to take this, you don't, you don't have to have this uh, primer. You could just use it on its own all over the face and it looks a little bit like that. Let me show you something interesting though. I'm gonna take it outside into the warm California sunshine. Check this out outside on my hand. Boy, it looks like I have scaly hands. I promise you I don't. And I did this swatch before I put it on the face and I was a bit worried at first, like how much texture is this gonna show? 
Um, it doesn't. So I don't know what's up with the kind of snaky looking hands. I promise you, I keep my hands very well moisturized, but it did not like the skin on my hands, which is odd. Um, because as you see on my face, we're not having any of those issues, I assure you. And here it is again on the finger. Um, and this is before even putting it on the face, okay? We are two hours into the wear test and nothing's breaking up or looking strange, but I am gonna let it roll four hours and then get this out because it is a special breaking news bulletin right here. Take a moment and make sure you are subscribed to this channel, please, as it helps me get the word out. Use those timestamps if you need them and let's jump right into the demo. Okay, we're gonna do a full face of some relatively new Natasha Denona. And we're gonna start with, well, the star of our news bulletin today, the Hygen Skincare Infused Glow Beautifier. Now there's three ways to use this product, uh, as you may know already. We can use it just as a highlighter with the fingers, brush or a sponge just on the high points of the face. You can use it, well, actually there's kind of four ways to use it. You can just put it all over the face for that all over kind of lit from within glow. Those are probably Charlotte Tilbury words, so we'll just say all over glow. You can put it over, if you want, you could put it all over the Hygen primer, so you could put the primer on first in liquid and then this over, which I toyed with doing. Or you can do something I think we're going to do today, and that is I saw Natasha Denona do it myself, or I wouldn't be trying it. Put a few drops of this directly into the pan, mix it around with a flat, dense brush, and apply it. And I thought, let's just, let's do it, right? Let's see what it looks like and let's try it. Now, I followed the directions of uh, Natasha Denona, Professor Denona, and I started with a concealer. Actually, this is the Natasha Denona Color Corrector and Concealer. That is all over my face, covering up my dark pits of despair and some little redness and blemishes around my face. I didn't make you sit through that because I knew you'd be anxious to get to the good part. This is the shade, the first shade, Fair. I was gonna say share shade one, or shade light, I should say, not fair. Um, and I, this looks like this is sold out, makes sense, uh, at Ulta, I think it was, because this is the shade Natasha Denona says she uses, and I thought, oh, that's pretty close. I would have normally gotten the second shade. Okay, so here this is. This is the Skin Glass, or whatever they called it, Hygen Primer. And I'm going to, I was gonna try this over the face, but let's just do it, because I, I saw her do it. I didn't believe it till I saw it. One, two. So I have done what she says to do and put it right there, see it, in the pan. Now, uh, for the brush, I have chosen my new beloved complexion brush, the BO2 from Refer. So I'm gonna just take that, oh, I'm a little nervous here, and go in there, just like that, just like she shows, and then, <laughs> okay, so we have the concealer on. All right, let's just, oh gosh. All right, not bad, not bad. Oh, that is the right shade, so it's obviously fairly forgiving. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know if I'm supposed to add more. All right, so this is one side of the face done, and I'm kind of out now, so I think what I'll do is I'll put two more drops in for the other side of the face. Okay, that's not too bad. I was expecting a disco. That's not too bad. Can you see the difference? Okay, this side just has some color corrector concealer. This side has me putting two drops of the primer into the Glow Beautifier. Okay, this is really interesting, you guys. This is not as intense as I thought it would be. All right, let's put two more drops in. I'm doing this off camera here, but just know that I'm doing it one, two. Okay, so we put two in. Okay, again, we want that kind of flat, dense, Kabuki style brush, and we're going in with it like this. Would it have been maybe more? I'm really trying to load it on on this side. Okay, I'm getting a bit more glowy on this side. Should I put it over the eyes? Okay, now I really looked at something, you guys. Before we did this video, I'm going down the neck here a little bit too. Before we did this video, I looked. Is she allowing her models, I wondered, and you might be wondering the same, to have glow under the eyes and in the T-zone? The answer is yes. I looked it up. I didn't ask. I just, you know, researched it with my eyes. Yeah, they are glowy everywhere. So they are glowy under the eyes. They are glowy on the traditional sense of the T-zone. So she's doing for this look no powdering in that area. Okay. 
All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna take it outside and show you in the sunshine. Remember when it was on my hand, it really showed my hands aren't dry, but it showed like every skin cell. It was a little strange. Let me take this outside. I'm gonna pause this and go outside into the warm California sunshine and let's see how it looks right now. And I'm gonna insert that right here. What do you think? Okay, what did you think of that? Not too bad, right? All right, let's 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 put some makeup over the top of it. First thing I'm gonna do is a little bit of Daphne I Need a Rose Liner. I just wanna get something on my lips. I feel a little bit naked without something on my lips. So I'll just do that real messy. And then some Daphne Gloss. Is it too glowy? What did you think of it outside? I ran down and ran up, so I'm out of breath. Okay. Okay. Actually, I'm feeling like that's a kind of a pretty complexion. You have to put the, you have to put the concealer on first, but I'm kind of liking it. And the question is gonna be, how does it last? Okay, taking this here, I'm gonna put on a little bit Let's bronze over it. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to mix the kind of bronzery shades in here. It's kind of a combo of shades. That's the question to me. How is makeup going to go on over it? Are you supposed to just leave them? I don't think you're supposed to. I mean, she's a makeup artist, so she wants to sell makeup. You're not supposed to just leave yourself unmade up. And this will also answer the question that you guys may have of whether or not you can powder over this. Because some of you are going to say, Rebecca, I don't care what Natasha Denona shows on a 20-year-old model, I want to powder my T-zone. And this, um, though this isn't a translucent powder, this should answer that question a little bit for us to see what we think, okay? Because these are powder products. So let's try the, uh, the cheek as well. It's interesting. This lightest shade, the light shade, is indeed, I'm not going to exaggerate the blush, you guys, this time, because we're not, uh, I've done this review. If you want to see a review of this Hypernatural face palette, just look right up here and I'll post it for you to see, okay? But I'm not uh, reviewing that. I have already reviewed that. We'll use it again because it's her newest face palette and it kind of works for our purposes here, but we don't need a review. And I'm kind of seeing, okay, so it hasn't really, interestingly enough, I'm not going to highlight. Even with the bronzer, so the product so far, the, both the bronzer and the blush have gone on really nicely over. This is kind of a cool product, you guys, especially for spring. I thought I would dislike this. I'm kind of into it. Okay, so this is not, it has not removed any of the shine, but it also... The shine is kind of coming through, but it dampens it just enough. I'm pretty impressed. Let's do an eye look. Let's use Sonia G brushes for the eye look. And we're just going to do something really simple and really quick. Again, I have already reviewed this palette. I just want to do a quick look using all Natasha Denona. We already have the I Need a Rose Daphne liner and gloss, and everything will be below. This will be a little bit of a quicker video because I'm just kind of trying to do a news update for you guys. Okay. I am, I have to tell you, I am most taken with the fact that the shine is slightly coming through the powder, but it's definitely dampened. And I think it's a really healthy look. What I'll do, you guys, I promise I'll remember, is I will go outside after we finish this and I'll show you this look outside too because when this catches the sun is when it should be, you know, I'll show you the finished look, uh, when it should be the most obvious here. Okay. All right, let's see. I'm going to go with this really shiny look on the center of the eyes too. Yes, I'm going really fast on this, you guys. That's our point here. I've reviewed this palette already. Our point here is much more just to get a full look going. It's not a shadow video and it's not a hypernatural palette video. Okay, there we go. So let me move this here. All right, what do you think? All right, here I'm going to insert 
me wearing this um, outside for you to take a look at in the warm California sunshine. I want you to see what this looks like outside in the light, in the sunshine. It might not be sunny where you are, but it's certainly sunny here. So I want you to see what that looks like and see what you think. Hmm? I like it. All right, I am going to wait. I want to get this bulletin posted while it is still Sunday, at least in California. So I don't have a ton of time, but I'm going to wait. Uh, I'll wait four hours and I will post right here when I edit. It's still early enough in the day right here, how it wears, if it's creasing or if it's anything. So look for that update right here. And what do you guys think of this brand new product? The question is, how else can you wear it? I tried to wear it the gl most glowing way I really could, and maybe it would get a bit glowier if I put it over this, but I thought that was the most interesting kind of editorial fun way to drop that into it. And it doesn't seem to have affected the product at all. It looks really good still in the pan there. So I am pretty impressed. Again, four hour mark in, I will put that there. That's about as long as I could wait to put this video up for you. Looks pretty good. Interesting smell, not floral, not medicinal, has a little bit like of a kind of a creamy product smell. Feels a little, it does feel like a cream, but it immediately does, it's not sticky. My face is not sticky, even in the spots where I don't have any of the powder cosmetic product, it's not sticky at all, not at all. It kind of feels like nothing, like skincare. This is an interesting product, my friends. A very, very interesting product. And I think, I actually kind of think I like it. Right now, I feel like I've got skincare on. It's not tacky. This wouldn't catch my hair in a breeze. Wow. Okay, so I'll show you that update. I need to know if you're gonna get it or have gotten it. I did link it at Ulta below, where I think the shade light is sold out. But remember, if you go onto the Natasha Denona website and you use my code, Rebecca Kringen, that's below, it'll be in the description bar too, so you can, you know, it's hard to remember, so you can kind of click on it and uh, copy it to paste it. Um, then you can get 15% off at natashadenona.com. Uh, so give it a try. Um, if you're a skincare fanatic and a foundation fanatic, I think this is kind of more game changing, especially in coordination with these, with this, um, than just this was alone. I wasn't that impressed by this. I am impressed by this. I think this is a really cool product and I thought I would pan it. So it's interesting how things change. Let me know, this is what makes us a community. What do you think? What do you think of it on me? Are you now interested in purchasing it, purchasing it for yourself? What shade did you get? Um, and don't forget that on the brand website with, with my code, you can get 15% off. Also, sh please share, like, and please subscribe to this channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Thank you for joining me for my Not Fit for Print Beauty special news bulletin.